with icons on the desktop. Down here I have a taskbar with items for switching between. And when I click the start icon there, of course, I get the start menu. So we showed a start menu back in build as it was under development. And the software that you all will get a chance to try out over, over there has this early build. And I want you to think about the audience that we have and the goal that we have in mind for trying to get this design right. Literally, we have hundreds of millions of Windows 7 users, mostly on PCs with a mouse and a keyboard. But it scales up to Windows 8 users on devices that are touch-based. And we're looking to find the balance so that all of those Windows 7 users get a familiar experience on the devices they already have, but as we scale up to more capable devices, like touch devices, that the experience scales with it. So, in combination on the start menu, you'll see things like um, my me tile, and you'll see a simple power button where people can do the things that they commonly expect to do, like hibernate or sleep or turn off their PC. At the top are the pinned apps. Um, in the middle is the most used list, same concept on Windows 7. Um, and then things like the all apps button are in a place that people would expect, so I click that and see all my apps. And the little details really matter matter here as well. Things like junk lists. When I go to File Explorer, it expands in place to show familiar junk lists that Windows 7 users are used to. Um, so the, the, the analogy that we've been using internally, um, we want all these Windows 7 users to have the sentiment that yesterday they were driving maybe a first generation Prius, and then when they, when they got Windows 10, they didn't have to learn to drive something new, but it was as if we got them a Tesla. And so now there's some fancy, exciting new features, like an 18 inch touchscreen, and there's more room for passengers and cargo, and the sound system is way better, but they don't have to learn any new way to drive. And when you think about new features, as I said, we'll talk more about those later, but some of them start to peek right into the core experience. So, of course here, familiar to Windows 8 users, we have live tiles, which our customers really like for the ability of getting information from apps, seeing what's happening with apps, and developers like that connection with their audience. And so, in our testing so far, this blend has worked really well. It gives the familiarity of Windows 7 with some of the new benefits that exist in Windows 8. And of course, it's really easy to use. If I want to grab an app like Facebook here, drag it over, I can pull it into a space, choose where I want to drop it. In this case, you can see the start menu is getting a little wider. But we left this little space right there so I could drop an item in. Um, part of the brand values, the things that we want Windows to be about, is personalization and making your device really unique, your, represent your unique personality and needs. So we want people to be able to customize this and make it fit them. Um, I could do things like resize these tiles. I'll make the calendar tile here large size. And then I can take the start menu and change its size. I can make it short and stout if I would like or I can pull it up here and go for the tall, uh, tall look, which during the rehearsal everyone reminded me, for me, going to higher heights is generally something I should try to do, so I'm <laughs> going to configure my start menu in the tall mode. Um, and so you get the idea. Some of the new benefits in Windows 8 are blended into an experience that's familiar to Windows 7 users, and we're trying to hit this balance in just the right way. Sort of continuing on that vein. Um, one of the things that we know a lot of Windows 7 users do is they type commands into the edit box on the start menu. And so of course that's supported, but we made it better. If I start typing EXP, you'll see my, my uh, search results change, and up at the top you get the apps that you use frequently, like the File Explorer, or Internet Explorer, uh, I have an expenses document that's shown, settings on my PC are shown. And a feature that's new for Windows 7 users, but not for Windows 8 users, is web results show up right here in the start menu as well, so I can jump into a web search super fast and easy in a consistent way that I'm used to if I'm a Windows 7 user. All right, so that's a quick look at the basics, the taskbar, the start menu. Um, one of the things that's 